Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stealing from the Greats, a daily segment where I break down and celebrate small but great subscription brands and see what do's and don'ts we can learn to improve our own subscription websites. Uh, now, today we're looking at Your Super. Now, Your Super is giving you gut vibes only, apparently. Um, our gut health bundle pairs, powerful pro and uh, prebiotics to support digestion focus energy all summer long. Now, as always, I'm looking at three aspects of a good sign up, a subscription sign up flow, which is a brand driver, product driver, and a subscription driver or a trust driver. And um, what's cool about your super is that it has multiple subscription styles. Um, two specifically we can take a look at um, and just a general or regular subscribe and save upsell on the product which is that good is that bad well I guess we'll see so first and foremost do we have a clear and um, decisive brand benefit I'd like to I was hoping to see something a little more standard and a good brand positioning statement like um, your super gut health prebiotics probiotics to support digestion uh, or for people looking to have better gut health, happier lives, and so on and so forth. So again, a good positioning statement says what your brand does, which is prebiotics, probiotics, and who is it for? For people looking for better focus, energy, digestion, gut health. Um, right underneath, there's a couple of good trust drivers um, for the brand. And again, you use trust drivers on your um, on your website to verify your claims, to make your claims just more impactful for the uh, for the visitor. So we have USDA certified organic, non-GMO certified, B Corp, plant-based, gluten-free, all of these kind of um, uh, explainers around the bl uh, around the bl brands. Things you just can't advertise for no reason. You have to back your claim so I like that um, however what I'm not a huge fan of is I understand that um, so I'm trying I'm actually I don't understand what these mean detox hormones and mood digestive health skin and hair so are these things that our products are good for so so your super good for a detox balancing hormones and mood digestive health skin and hair or are these product categories and they are clickable so I would imagine that these are product categories in this case um, so I wish it was a little clearer and again if you're putting sections like this with different uh, different choices for the user to make give them uh, a clear header so people know what is the decision they're trying to make here so I'm not sure if these are brand benefits or if these are different product types. Um, what are superfood mixes? So there's a little bit of copy here um, and trying to explain, so a product, basically a product driver. Superfoods are plant-based foods that contain high amounts of micronutrients, minerals, vitamins. Um, it's all about the mix, smart composition, superfood powders, and uh, to support your health goals and needs. And then we generally, so it's kind of an explainer about what the product is. And then there's a list of three products. Now, I don't know if these are, are these the best superfoods? Are these, are these just superfoods? Uh, is everything they sell a superfood? I don't know. Um, so um, it, it's a little tricky to understand how these come in. So I see Moon Balance. I, I see these great branded products, generally great product photography. Um, but it is it is a little unclear of what am I trying to buy. Are these the most popular products from the brand? Um, are these the products that are right for me? Um, so again, not super clear. Um, now, I do really like this trust, trust driver and I want more brands to start doing it is putting the story behind the brand and putting the faces behind the brand more front and center. Again, people don't buy from brands, people buy from other people. So, and also, I mean, the story from uh, Michael and Crystal, crazy story, heartbreaking, heartwarming story, and um, just gives you a lot of a good connection and understanding of like, here's who this brand is about, or this is, this is who this brand is built by, and this is what this brand is about. So, um, I really like this um, overall. That's a good trust driver. Makes all of your again your claims a little more verifiable. Now, I do see another outside uh, verified, basically a quote from Clean Plant Based Superfood Recipes will uh, help more. Uh, well, this is from Deepak Chopra. Uh, healing plants. I'm excited to see the impact this will have on so many people. So 
It's not actually, so this is about superfood, uh, but it's not about specifically the brand. So it's kind of trying to, um, to verify the, the claims, I suppose. But I wish they actually had um, user reviews, a user review or a user quote about how good this product tastes or how, better, how much better it made them feel. Again, I know that to make medical claims, you can't really do that, but you can use, like your, our product will do this to you, but you can use user-generated content to say, and um, to restate how this product will make you feel. So uh, what I would do is I'd probably replace that with that. And then um, we also have a bit of a distraction here because it is um, trying to sell you another, another item, which is the book. Um, so I don't know if that's necessarily like the hook product that I would drive for people. It's like once this is the, the key product that we want to sell to you uh, that drives to the highest customer lifetime value over a lifetime. So what I would try to keep is keep this uh, page as tight to the hook product and the one that you kind of look at your customer history and be like, you know what, people are buying this or this is our most popular product or uh, this is a great starter product would be really good. And so instead of, for example, listing three products here, four product categories here, and there's two, uh, two other products promoted on the homepage, I would say, hey, great for starters, um, second most, or you could say, great for starters, advanced, and specifically for this. So um, instead of just letting people figure out what these, what these individual three products do with their name, so moon, um, moon balance mix, I would imagine this is a hormonal balance thing, Golden Mellow Mix, is this for better sleep? I'm not sure. Um, and Plant Collagen Mix could be another um, uh, another label that could be applied um, to these products is um, best starters, best for recovery, best for nutrition, best for gut health, best for sleep. So um, support happy hormones, lot, soothing latte powder. Um, these are getting lost because it's literally the last thing you kind of see in the priority list uh, of labels. So I would say that that would be a good, a good thing. Um, now, for if you keep scrolling a little further down, they have great lifestyle photography. I really like this. So what makes uh, what we do differently? Um, so I do, um, I do appreciate that they list this. I was just some of this info was a little easier to skim. Again, they're driving a lot of the product, or sorry, the brand um, drivers, but a lot of them kind of fall on flat ears because we're missing that social proof, which is buried way on the bottom here. And look, we've got great mentions from Forbes, uh, Mind Body Green, Real Simple. So um, I would love to see uh, this further up. Like this would be a much um, a much more powerful statement if the press mentions were just below it, and then the subscribe and save um, if it was bookended by the customer reviews. That's really all you really need um, to uh, to back up your claims. So we have a subscribe and save flow here, um, and we also I'm not really the, that interested in subscribe and save. I want to understand more about the product itself. So I'm gonna click on their homepage banner shop now because I think that is, um, that's probably one of their, no, it doesn't look like it's one of the biggest sellers. Um, so you know what, I wanna try something that's a staple. So Moon Balance Mix or you know what, Plant Collagen Mix is kind of what would be best applied to me. Now, here on the product page, a couple of things I do like. I like that they are calling out the product copy, a plant-based superfood powder with ingredients known to support collagen production and appearance of a healthy skin. So that's good, a little more breakdown here. Uh, price breakdown uh, between one time and subscribe and save. Now here is something that I keep banging on about. If you have a subscribe and save program, make sure that people understand it's the best way to buy from your brand. Because if it's truly cancel anytime, zero risk, then why would you not take a 15% discount? So pre-select subscribe and save. And instead of burying the subscriber benefits, which tells you subscribe, 50, uh, you get 15% off, double rewards, customize each order delivery, um, highlighted in this box itself. So it's already, so it's pre-selected. It's already visible. You don't have to hover it, um, hover over it. Maybe even forget about frequency selection. 
set it up on the first set up the first order to have a fixed frequency and then through an onboard, onboarding sequence of emails and SMS tell them that they can easily update to whatever frequency they want so that's what I would do and simplify that process um, let's see what else so make it a bundle let's say 25 on every say 25 percent on every recurring order now um, I wish this was a little more like bundle uh, so bundle and save, customize and save. Um, this was a little clear that this is another way to subscribe. Um, so that would be one thing. I do really like the FAQ and um, it, I, I did like, well, at least this one made it a little easier to skim. Use bold text to make the pages easier to skim, uh, kids. That will um, let people navigate and find the questions they are still skeptical about. Um, uh, answers to those questions a lot faster. So we've got a little bit of product uh, product description here. Again, punch up some copy with um, with bolded text, and then here's where you know where literally some of the most valuable things on your website live. Um, it's customer reviews. So we have love this. Um, okay, so it goes <laughs> in my shakes and goes. Uh, so people are people are having some fun with this product copy. By far my favorite collagen mix. Uh, I drink it with my mushroom coffee every day. Easy addition to my supplements. Tastes great. Happy with this company. Makes a different taste great. So these, I love these user testimonials. I'm 49. I've been using um, PC since it came out. Took a break for a few months. Really started uh, helping me uh, eliminate the expense. In the interim, I saw less hair growth, more um, failing nails. The skin wasn't as good. So people are seeing the drawbacks of stopping buying. Um, added it back my daily smoothies, uh, plenty of yogurt. Um, this uh, this mix is worth it. So, again, if I'm skeptical, it doesn't really matter what the brand wants to tell me. It doesn't really matter what a lot of this copy says. Um, what really sells it is customer testimonials like this. And don't be afraid to use them all over your website. All over. Um, don't be afraid to put it on, instead of custom or instead of product descriptions. Use customer testimonials like this. Because um, at the end of the day, we want to buy a, a result. Uh, the end to that result, we want to buy a happier, healthier, better skin, for example, in this case. Okay, well, does it? Does this tell me better? Um, does this tell me that result and describe it better than an actual customer testimonial? That's questionable. Now, what I do really like is that they have, um, they have these uh, call-outs on the images. Again, highlighting some of the benefits of the images. One downside of that is though, I don't really, um, it doesn't really highlight the benefit of, uh, of whatever features they're, that are being highlighted. So, <laughs> oh, good <Brett. laughs> uh, So what you wanna do is you, highlight, you use product images and text overlay over the product images to highlight the benefits. So um, image, your image carousel is the most interactive part of the website. So, uh, display those product benefits like healthy skin, customer testimonials in the image. Now, so yeah, so we have this subscribe and save here, back to that. Um, now I am curious about this customize and save. Um, and when I click customize and save, it takes me to this bundle builder. So it tells me that um, it's not, it's, it's basically, it's an extra 10% saving. So if I buy in bulk, I save an extra 25%. Now this in my mind is actually, the best way to go about this once I know what the products are. The problem is, is that once I'm in this um, in this page, I can't really expand on. Okay, I can kind of read that this is magic uh, magic mushrooms. Um, I wonder if that's what kind of magic mushrooms we're talking about. That would be a, that's a good deal. Um, a side note, um, but super. So these benefit the product benefits and the product. Um, the product description and product benefit just get lost here. And I would imagine they probably don't see a lot of bundle, uh, bundle savings, even though that's literally the best way to buy the product. It's zero risk. You can pause it, cancel it, reschedule at any point. Um, but this interface just doesn't allow me to explore the product with a pop-up. Some apps do this better than, uh, than this one, but um, that's kind of what I would, what I would say. So um, overall, great brand uh i like what they're trying to do with their mission and uh carry on guys
Again, this wraps up our Stealing from the Greats episode. If you like our content, uh, content, subscribe to get more of it and share it with friends. And if you have any questions around the subscri subscriptions or Shopify, leave them in the comments. Next. Uh, on to the next one.